First things first, coffee. If you're not from Guernsey, you won't understand how amazing our dairy is. Perfect. Now, second thing, second. Woogies? You're a little boy. You're a little boy. This is young Wurzel. Go on in. Let's go. I went down down the road to buy my half a seat. I went down the road to buy my half a seat. Is what you call in Guernsey getting stuck behind a Sunday driver. I just fed up now, we're doing 15 mile an hour. What a nubhead! Come on, let's go! Here we go, boy! You ready? Your walkies? Go on then. Let's put all your wet. Go on. <laughs> My seat's now soaking. How was that, boy? Was that good? Right, so I'm back again this week. I've um, allowed it to dry quite a lot inside, and to be honest, it's dried out a lot better than I thought. So I've got a drill bit, and like I said last week, I'm gonna drill a few cores and see how uh, damp it is still inside. Um, so today I'm gonna get all the fixtures off, all of these, um, every hook, uh, all the lights, the screen, everything up here, um, all of the trimmings and everything so that we can flip the boat upside down next week if i can persuade uh kilo keith from uh, <laughs> my mate keith from uh, guernsey crane high and see if they can flip it over um so then we can uh get right underneath and uh start getting the uh getting the bottom all ready uh my mate adzi's gonna help me out today and uh yeah that's it man and uh just help me out today and it'll be uh awesome yeah and it's a beautiful sunny day again um but why is the weather's like this i'm going to try my best to get everything and also i want to turn it over on its uh on its top before it starts raining because all the hard work of getting the water out is going to be uh, <laughs> uh yeah wasted so yeah right speak to you in a bit Meh.
catch me hollering at the moon. So we're getting on well. We've got a load of trimmings off here. Uh, there's a few being a bit stubborn, uh, but we're trying to keep them so I can, uh, you know, replace them with new. Uh, this uh, front's been a bit of a nightmare because the screw heads are just knackered. They're not, as soon as you put any pressure on them, they're just bending. So we're gonna have to probably drill them out or grind them down or whatever we do. Uh, but yeah, we're getting there. Um, so this side's pretty much done. We got. Adds the inside doing a bit on the trim. Hello, Adzi. Hello, white. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. Um, so, I'll be coming over this side now to just get the same off the side. I took the screen off, and believe it or not, as careful as I was, I've broken it. Um, but it isn't exactly in the greatest condition, so it's probably a good thing. I can still use it as a template and stuff. Um, but yeah, we just got this side to, to get on with. Um, just gonna put the camera somewhere. Will that do, you think? Will you find me? Hope you find me. trying to get this off um, it's not just the rivets obviously holding it is bolts as well so that caught me out a little bit but now I know I can work around that but we're getting there some of the handles are off screens are off um, we just got a bit down at the bow those bits to sort out um, get them off Okay, so I'm gonna give this a go. <laughs> so the floor, it's dried out really well. I'm really impressed with it, but whether it's just the top that I can feel that's dry uh, is a different story. So I'm gonna drill holes in with this, but just to check the depth, just to make sure I don't end up uh, <laughs> doing the unthinkable. Um, I'm just gonna push that in. So that's about that. So. That's quite deep, so I'm not even gonna go halfway into that just to make sure. And obviously the boat's hull tapers, it's not um, a flat bottom or anything like that. So yeah, we'll give this a go. And uh, like I said, uh, the last couple of videos, hopefully this just helps it dry out a little bit. And as I uh, finish off and put the floor back and that, I'll just fill the holes up. Um, but I'm fairly confident that this is uh, drying out really well. I mean, it has been an amazing three, four weeks uh, weather wise so really I couldn't have picked a better time to be doing this so um, something it seems to be going right in my favour at the moment so I'm going to keep going because <laughs> I don't want to jinx it by stopping um, or then don't jinx it by saying something like it's been going really well <laughs> right here we go I mean, that's fairly dry in there. There's not much dampness at all. There is a little, but not much.
hot. Okay, so let me get the other side for the sun. There we go. I've drilled some holes. I've done the finger test. <laughs> no better way of saying that, I don't think. It's the finger test for moisture. Um, and it, it's pretty much bone dry. There's a little bit of dampness, but not much at all. Uh, so yeah, I think we've got away with this. Um, but I'm still gonna uh, ask Keith to come and flip it over. We can work on the bottom of the boat uh, and allow it to dry even more. Uh, we may as well see if we come this far. Um, and then once we've done that, we can flip it back and uh, go from there. But um, we'll have to work around them. So it might not be uh, next week. I might not be able to do a video, but uh, if I can, or I will do it. But it might be two weeks now to the next video. Uh, but yeah, it's coming on well. All the tops off, all the sides fittings, the satellites, uh, the scraper. Um, put the hatch back on in case it rains. Inside we've got all the fittings out and from the roof and stuff. Uh, we're working on the trim, it's just, I don't think there's a way of getting off without completely damaging it, but we'll look at that another day, it's not important. Um, Up. Look around the front. So we got the rails off. I had to grind them off in the end. Um, these are bolted from the inside. Um, so I'll decide what I'm going to do here. This stuff I'm replacing them. But again, it's not really important that I can turn over the boat. If anything, that might protect it. So I'll leave, you know, if we hit the front of the bow while I'm turning it. Um, any tips on flipping a boat over on its top? I guess one way of doing it would be a few car tires on the floor, maybe. Um, but yeah, any suggestions? I'd appreciate it in the comments. Um, but yeah, this is Herney over and out. Woo!